your textbook author today starts talking about things that you can actually safely ignore as you are writing an equilibrium constant expression for a reaction. And I want to not just go over what you can ignore, but I want to make sure you understand why you can ignore it. Um, every concentration that we're talking about um, when we write an equilibrium expression is just that. It is a concentration, molarity. And you'll remember that molarity means moles per liter. So if I have um, an aqueous solution where I've taken a chemical and I've dissolved it in water, I'm going to have a certain number of moles per liter of that solution. If I add more chemical to the same volume, then my molarity is going to go up. Um, if I would have dissolved less, then the molarity would, would go down. And so an, you are fully aware already that an aqueous solution is going to have a molarity. It's going to have a concentration. Similarly, in a gas, you can take um, gas particles and you can put them in a certain size container. The volume of that container can be measured in liters. And so you can either take the same amount of gas and you can compress it and make the concentration higher. So you've got more particles per your area of volume. You can decrease the pressure, increase the volume, make your concentration go down because uh, your gas particles are all spread out per unit area. And so gases and aqueous solutions are going to have concentrations. Now, what about a solid? Well, a solid is, is you can't really take a solid and spread it out and have concentration because if you have a lump of solid, um, you could measure density, um, but that's not the same thing as measuring concentration. So we can't really measure the concentration of a solid. Similarly, if we have a pure liquid, um, for example, if you would take um, mercury, which is at room temperature and used to be um, in the liquid that you would see in thermometers all the time, they don't use it anymore, but mercury at room temperature is a liquid. And so as a liquid, it's just a liquid. There's no concentration to measure. It's just in its liquid state. And so if you see in a chemical equation that you have a solid or a liquid, then that will not be included in the equilibrium constant expression because those things are not going to be able to be expressed in concentrations. So only gases and aqueous solutions are going to be expressed in an equilibrium concentration. So let's see how that uh, works out here. Um, again, on your sheet, I gave you two example problems. And so we're going to write equilibrium constant expressions for these particular reactions. In this one, uh, you see that I've got solid ammonium chloride and it reacts um, to form ammonia gas and hydrochloric acid in the gaseous state. So gases can have concentrations. Um, so both of these can be expressed in molarity, but this is a solid and solids are not going to be in the equilibrium expression. Okay, so here, the equilibrium expression for this particular reaction is going to be the concentration of NH3 times the concentration of HCl, and there are no coefficients in front of it. Um, that would be on the top. If I had reactants, they would go on the bottom, but I'm not going to put the solid in there. So this is the equilibrium expression for this particular reaction. Okay, now if you look uh, down here at this one, um, this one looks really, really complex. Um, CH3CO2H is acetic acid, which is the same acid that is in vinegar. And so that is going to be an aqueous solution. Um, this particular uh, compound is ethanol, and it can be an aqueous solution as well. And so these two react together um, to, call, to create something called um, um, ethoxyethanol, which sounds really, really complex. Um, and then it makes a li liquid water. So here, all three of these are aqueous solutions, but this is a liquid. And so a liquid's not going to have a concentration. So when I write the equilibrium constant for this expression, I will have CH3CO2C2H5 um, on the top, because that's on my product side. I'm not going to include this one and then on the bottom, I'll have the acetic acid, CH3CO2H, 
and I will have the ethanol, C2H5OH. And again, there's no um, coefficients in front of those besides one, so I don't have any particular uh, exponents in these expressions, although if there were stoichiometric coefficients in front of them, those would go in as exponents. Okay, so you want to be really careful as you're writing these equilibrium expressions. Watch out for the solids and the liquids because um, sometimes problems are written to try to trip you up. And so you don't want to include those things in your equilibrium constants.